Disclaimer, this patient education resource is not medical advice. It shares common health facts, advice, and tips. Some of the information provided in this resource may not apply to you. Please talk to your doctor, nurse, or other healthcare team member to see if this information will work for you. They can also answer any questions or concerns that you might have. Hi, I'm Dr. Lamarche, a nephrologist. Welcome to this video series on advanced chronic kidney disease. This video series is intended for anyone with advanced chronic kidney disease. You are here to learn about kidney disease, kidney failure, and treatments which become necessary when the kidneys aren't working well enough. You, or someone you care about, probably have chronic kidney disease, but you may not be at the point where you require the treatments discussed today. The goal is to start thinking about the choices available to you to make future decisions easier. Each video is about 5 to 10 minutes long. In total, there are six videos. We recommend watching all six videos in order. We encourage you to pause the video if you need a break. Take notes and write down any questions for your healthcare team. We encourage you to watch this with a family member or care partner and discuss your options with them. Subtitles are available if you need them. Just click on the symbol at the bottom of the video. This video is also available in French. This video series will cover what are chronic kidney disease, kidney failure, and the symptoms of kidney failure, when do you need treatment, such as dialysis or a kidney transplant, peritoneal dialysis, in-center hemodialysis, home hemodialysis, kidney transplant, conservative kidney management, and we will end this video series by comparing the treatment options. First, we will talk about the kidneys and chronic kidney disease. Most people have two kidneys located in the mid-back. Kidneys remove waste products and extra fluid from our body. Chronic kidney disease means that the kidneys aren't working as well as they should. In chronic kidney disease, neither kidney is working well. The most common causes of chronic kidney disease in Canada are diabetes and high blood pressure. There are many other causes. You can have chronic kidney disease even if you don't have diabetes or high blood pressure. If you're not sure about the cause of your kidney disease, you can discuss this with your healthcare team. Your nephrologist, meaning your kidney doctor, or your family doctor may have prescribed medications and a specific diet for your kidney disease. Some medications are used to keep your kidneys functioning as well as possible for as long as possible. When you start a new medication, supplement, or natural product, it is important to let your healthcare team know. It is also important to let your pharmacist know that you have chronic kidney disease. This is because some medications should be avoided, for example, anti-inflammatories such as ibuprofen. For other medications, the dose may need to be lowered. Now let's talk about kidney function. What is kidney function? Kidney function means how well your kidneys are working. One important blood test that helps us learn about your kidney function is the serum creatinine level. Creatinine builds up in your blood when kidney function decreases. It is used to calculate the glomerular filtration rate, or GFR, which tells us about your kidney function. The higher your serum creatinine is, the lower your GFR is, meaning worse kidney function. Normal kidney function is equivalent to a glomerular filtration rate of 90 to 120 mLs per minute. This means that a 90 to 120 mLs of blood are cleaned by your kidneys every minute. Now, the glomerular filtration rate naturally decreases with age. Most people with advanced chronic kidney disease have a GFR below 30. Your healthcare team will tell you about your kidney function. Now let's talk about the roles of the kidneys. Waste products. The kidneys remove waste products by filtering the blood. Electrolytes. They also help keep certain mineral and electrolyte levels normal in the body, such as potassium and phosphate. Fluid balance. When you drink a lot of water or other liquids, your kidneys should get rid of any fluid that your body doesn't need. Hormones. The kidneys also make hormones. One of them, called erythropoietin, or EPO, sends the signal to make red blood cells. This is why some people with chronic kidney disease have anemia, meaning low red blood cells, and need to take medications such as iron or EPO. 
Anemia can make you feel tired or short of breath. Vitamin D is also activated in the kidneys, which helps keep your bones healthy. The kidneys also help control blood pressure. Now that we know about the kidneys and chronic kidney disease, let's talk about kidney failure. What is kidney failure? Kidney failure is when the kidneys have stopped removing waste products from your body adequately. This is when you may require treatment such as dialysis or a kidney transplant. Kidney failure is also called end-stage renal disease. You may not be there yet, but this is something that we need to prepare for. Kidney failure usually happens at a kidney function or glomerular filtration rate below 10. Without dialysis or a kidney transplant, it is life-threatening. What are the symptoms of kidney failure? People with kidney failure may have difficulty breathing, a bad taste in the mouth, loss of appetite or weight loss, nausea or vomiting, leg cramps, leg swelling, itchy skin, fatigue and trouble sleeping, and in the late stage, it may cause confusion and chest pain. You may have kidney failure and have many symptoms, only some of these symptoms or no symptoms at all. You may also start to have some of these symptoms before you reach kidney failure. Having one or some of these symptoms does not necessarily mean you have kidney failure as problems other than kidney disease can cause similar symptoms. It is important to talk about your symptoms with your healthcare team. When will you have kidney failure? It is hard to predict when kidney failure will happen. We can make estimations based on your level of kidney function now, the speed at which your kidney function is getting worse, your blood pressure and diabetes control if you have it, and the amount of protein leaking into your urine. This is something your healthcare team can help you understand. Why talk about kidney failure now, even though you may not be there yet? There are different treatment options for kidney failure. Most of these treatments require planning in advance. Choosing a treatment option that is right for you is an important decision because it will affect your life every day. Based on your situation, your healthcare team can help you decide which option is best for you. Here are the different treatment options for kidney failure. Peritoneal dialysis, in-center hemodialysis, home hemodialysis, kidney transplant, and conservative kidney management. When learning more about treatment options for kidney failure in the next videos, it is important to keep in mind things that might influence your choice, such as your general health, your age, if you have help at home, how independent and active you are, and how comfortable you are with medical equipment. Know that if you choose one treatment option now, it doesn't mean that you can't change to another type later. Having chronic kidney disease and having to make a decision about your future treatment is not easy. There are support groups in the community that can help you. They are often run by kidney disease patients or their caregivers. Support groups offer information, support, and links to resources that may be helpful to you and your family. You can also visit the Kidney Foundation of Canada's website to connect with their support group. Click on the link in the description of this video at the bottom of the screen for more information. You can also pause this video and copy the link which is shown on the screen. Finally, you can also ask your healthcare team about support groups in your community. This is the end of the first video on chronic kidney disease. In the next videos, we will talk about treatment options for kidney failure. When you feel ready, click on the link below.